Hello my beautiful beans and welcome back to the channel. It's been almost two months since we last worked on this island, but it felt like it was very much the time. We are back on Pandora with another speed build. Now, I will say, besides today's area, there aren't really many more isolated areas left, but just a booty ton of filler and transition areas. After finishing the RDA base, home tree, and the floating mountains, the inspiration and motivation for this island was kind of hard to find, but I am dedicated. I will finish this island and it's gonna be great. Today's area is going to be very small, just a cute little swampy area with lots of mushrooms, bugs, and glowy goodness. But since it is a small area, it might make this a short video and I saw we, I saw we. But before we get started, feel free to subscribe for more Animal Crossing content and like this video if you enjoy watching it as it helps out a ton. Also, please let me know what kind of content you'd love to see me do or more of. Is it builds, villager hunts, challenges? A full episodic playthrough, cozy builds without cuts or commentary, going back to trying older games perhaps? The Animal Crossing franchise has so much variety and options, so please feel free to let me know what you'd like to see me jump into. But with all that kerfuffle aside, let's get started with this swamp. As usual, I started with the pathing. I've been wanting to use this specific one for months, so I'm excited I finally get to use it. It's the perfect mix of swampy and glowy goodness with the little fireflies. Midway through, I also decided to plant a couple more trees and decided I actually kind of like this rock here, so I pathed around it. Noise. I broke up the end of the pathing near the shed with the tree trunk and the glowy splotch, but I think that's pretty much it for the pathing. The items for this area are mainly going to be these Mario mushroom platforms along with some glowing moss items, vines, and pretty bugs like so. I used a bunch of these mushroom dividers green floor lights for the luminescence and of course the obligatory glowing mushroom lamps, also in green for this area. The area was starting to come together quickly. I added some seating with the small vine bench and mum seats. I love the mum seats so much. So I put them in a couple other areas and uh, Kiki, please move, please, please. Thank you. I had to add this amazing and gigantic butterfly back and promptly went back into terraforming mode so I could get rid of this tiny cliff and decorate the others. But first, glowy pond, glowy boulder. Same as the last time, I have to add a small cliff so I can climb on top, place a design and or item, climb back down and remove the assistant cliff. I added some vines everywhere to add to the wild forest jungle vibe. A couple details here and there, and there is not much left to do. I kept these little nooks hidden away pretty simple with just some pathing and lots of vines. At this point, I decided to replace some of the trees with bushes instead, like here and here. It's looking fancy. I finished decorating on top of some of these filler cliffs like here and here. A cute butterfly, a pointy rock, and I think that's pretty much it for this area. I love 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 how this turned out. I know it's a smaller area, but it was a necessary one. I might actually repeat the same vibe on the other side of the RDA base that goes towards the home tree, but I'm still undecided on that. I 
definitely need to make a couple stops on some Nono Islands before I can do any more since my stock of most of the staples has depleted. It was quite nice to be back on this island and I did really enjoy it. There's still lots of transition and filler to do for this island before it's completed. So I am not sure whether the next video for this island will be the island tour or another build video. Who knows, maybe even a villager hunt. Once again, I apologize if this is a shorter video, but I still heckin appreciate you watching until this point. Thank you all so much again on the support shown on my videos and the recent shorts I've been posting on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. You are all the best. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the heck out of all of you and make sure you please all stay happy and healthy. But I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.